that next level. Oh my days. Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will. Together we are Top Jaw, and this right here is Marwan. This is episode two of Around the World with 80 Bays, where we continue our mission to try and eat around the world without leaving our favorite city, London. Sexy, sexy London. We ask a close friend, a bay. That's you, mate. Each episode to pick where they want to go in the Top Jaw teleporter. And for this ep, where are we going? Ole, Spain. Yes, right. I'm into it. We're going to three places. We've got a high end, a very casual one, and a wild card. Excited for all of them, to be fair. We're going to move to Soho to start off at the wonderful, the high end, Balafina. And don't forget, subscribe. <laughs> no, honestly, honestly, honestly. Like, I know you guys were joking. I know you guys were joking and all that just then, but um, you've really got to subscribe. <laughs> This is Barafina, two brothers, Sam and Eddie Hart, from London, but obsessed with Spanish food. There's three Barafinas in London. They also have Cro Vardis next door. These guys are Soho dining doms. So this is our high-end, primo, top-level penthouse, tapas, Spanish of the day. But surprisingly, reasonably well-priced. Let's go. Quality. All three Barafinas about the open kitchen, the open bar. That's the only seats in the house, and there's no reservations. You gotta turn up and wait for your seat, baby. Now, Barafina has a Michelin star, and it is probably the most accessible, sort of lower cost Michelin star dining experience that you can have in London. We've kind of like had to restrain ourselves a little bit because the menu's banging, and they brought out a little specials board that just had everything that we wanted on it. This is their classic tortilla, that crispy little outside and VVV gooey on the inside. Mate, that is... I've got to go in. Got to go in for double trouble, mate. This little beautiful number. Cured monkfish Woo. with avocado hummus kisses. Oh, it's marinated in a chocolate wine, they said. Chocolate wine. That Michelin star, mate, that Michelin star Spanish goodness. Thought it was going to be super sweet, but that's like, bang on. That's so, next level. That is next level. It's salt cured tuna, orange segments, almond, olive oil. I mean, this is better than I remember. And this is the... Chiperones. Chiperones. Yeah, yeah, just baby squid. Oh, man. No sauce necessary, mate, when you've got that much flavour and moisture. I want to hear the crunch. Let's go. I feel moved. I've had these before. They are beautiful. Stuffed courgette flour, just fried, drizzled with honey. Oy. I mean, oh, we didn't know we didn't know it was, <laughs> that was going to happen, did we? Crema catalana, which is a Catalonian cream translated literally. Um, think creme brulee, think flan. Sweet, luscious, and then soft. Get in there. Oh. This is my favorite, guys. Will, you need one. Boom. Barafina, I'll say top three tapas places for me. Michelin star, you don't get many tapas places with a Michelin star. That classic, understated, casual dining, quick, give you the food, give you the drink, give you a smile and you're good to go. Favorite thing for me about Spanish food though, it has to be that it's like understated, but elevated, which seems like a contradictory term, but just good sh the ricotta has ricocheted off my knee onto Marwan's <laughs> jacket. <laughs> Salud. We are. You know where we are now? We're in what they like to call Andalusia, which is from Madrid down. Okay. South of Spain. Yeah. A lot of its influence is Moorish, where we're talking architecture. By the way, when Mars says Moorish, he's not talking about like, mm, that tastes Moorish, I'd like Give some more. more of it. <laughs> it's the Moroccan thing. Moorish people yeah. are from Morocco. Yeah. They're also very Moorish. We, we can be. All the influence from the architecture, the food, the beer, oh. Alhambra. Alhambra. Yeah. It's all influenced by the little Moorish touch whether it be 
adding cumin to your gambas, or it be spicing up your potatoes with some harissa. This is all still within the whole Spanish algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> it was all going so well. So we're in the Barbary next door. It's a restaurant based on Moorish cuisine with a influence and focus right. on the Spanish bits. And it's your... Wild card. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Stop the music. I want to tell you about something. A little project of ours. Whilst this sun has come out and graced us for the few seconds we have, I want to introduce you to our little baby. Pow. Top jaw sunglasses. Okay, this is a limited edition run of superior quality sunglasses. I know you wouldn't expect that of a food and travel YouTube channel, but we are all about quality and production at the end of the day. Six mil acetate, blue lens on the inside, the top jaw teal sort of look through the glasses. Top jaw there. These are called the Wish You Were Here sunglasses. I love these. Will and I wear them to bed. Mate, that's a one take wonder, bro. This really is a Spanish Moroccan fusion. You've got the two maps there drawn on the mirror just to make it very clear that this is a complete conjunction of these two lovers. We've got dips. I love dips, love bread, love this type of bread. Aubergine, tomato, we have our labne, we've got tahini, butternut squash, and a roasted pepper dip. Lovely bread. Let's go in. Yeah, I need to get this bread going. More dips in the crypto market right here. Oh my days. And this right here is a sunset crudo. Yellow tail sashimi. Mm. The chili's hot, by the way. Yo, you're not joking about that chili. So here we've got the Esuarian tomato Esuarian. salad with a sherry vinegar. So the little connect there. Salads like this you would get in North Africa quite often. But the sherry vinegar finish makes it that Spanish touch. Oh my God. Oh if, there, God. if there was a dish that summed this place up, and you, That more. is it. That is it. But this is the Port Said. Soft octopus with a tapenade, fresh young olives. Well, this is a bit, this is a bit sensual, Jesse. Kiss. <laughs> kiss. 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 Will, you need kiss. to get some kiss. of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lubina Shormula. Shormula is like, a North African, oh, salsa verde, chimichurri. Every culture has their own version. North Africa has shurmula. Lubina is sea bass oh. in Spanish. While Jesse's having a little orgasmic smell moment. Oh, <laughs> honestly, that's really fun doing that. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Want some of that, some of that oh. charred good good. So this is the wild card of the wild card. It's called warqa, but it's like a filo pastry, chicken, sweet, savory, cinnamon. It's banging. Is this what you're on about? Yeah, man, I get a bit emotional. Because like, we have 252,000 subscribers here, yeah, which is cool. Taking us seven years. Seven hard years. <laughs> And I just know there's so many more people watching our films and they could just hit subscribe. They just need a Google account. There's no such thing as a YouTube account where everyone thinks about. And if, if we had a million subs, everything would open up. You'll get there. Just hang in there. But wait. Thank you, man. Why are you wearing your sunglasses? Why? Uh, because we're trying to sell our limited edition sunglasses. All right. So we spread that top jaw love, my friend. Did you get that, Will? <laughs> <laughs> On a top day, you just can't get full. This is kind of what Big Lou was telling us, right? If you get completely full, you're fucked. But you can just sort of prolong the fullness, but keep eating, keep grazing, but just don't ever Admit, overeat. You're full. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jeez, bro. On cue. Okay, so our original plan kind of got turned on his head when Will spoke to Scott, beautiful editor Scott, and Scott said, you're filming Spanish restaurants and you're not filming Lobos, you psychos. So he changed our plans, because we ain't no psychos, you know what I'm saying? And now we're at Lobos. 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 You wouldn't say Lobos. No. Lobos. Lobos. In Spain, there are certain dishes that like every Spanish restaurant does. 
Tatas Brabas, Paella, Iberico Pork, and this right here is Broken Eggs. They all have their own little spin, their own way of doing things. This Paella right here is not what you sort of think of. It wouldn't be the emoji Paella. Mm. Do you know what I mean? This is blackened with squid ink, with prawn, aioli. Oh man, that is crazy. Well, the Paella, let's go in on that. Yeah, that Paella is good. Big boys. They are big boys. I mean, sorry, freaking big boys. <laughs> okay, right, so we rattled through these quite early. It's now 25 to 8. That's normally dinner time. But we're in Soho, the epicenter of freedom and fun. And we're going to go to my favourite pub for, a, you know, a pale for the males. Indeed. Uh, and then we're on the churro hunt. I'm on this churro hunt, bro. Yeah, we're not I on this churro churros. hunt. Marwan wants the churros. I need, I need the dippy chocolate sauce. If we're not full enough, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this guy knows. <laughs> churro time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Marwan, yeah. you big fucking Boom. legend. That was episode two out of 80, around the world in 80 bays. We're going to do it, right? We might be 56 by the time we finish this, but we will do it. We got a big bunch of weird mates like this guy. Anyway, cheers, Marwan. You big ledge. Wait, we need churros. We're, we're, we're not. Oh, we need churros. Bro. We need churros. Okay, we do need churros. We're going to go on a churro hunt right now. But if this is how much you want to see, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Click that like button with your tongue. Yeah, Only good. with your tongue. Stick with us if you want to go see churro hunting. And also, if you're really up for bonus content like this, like this churro hunt we're about to do, you need to sign up for our Patreon. We have not launched it yet, but you can register your interest and we're going to be hitting up all the good, extra, top jaw stuff for the proper top jaw heads. You know you f***ing want to. Yes, use the F word to make your point. <laughs> Bye, Ooh, it, no. Okay, right, so this is a rare occasion where we've done an outro, we've called it a day, uh, and we came across Copita. And we realised, oh my god, how do you not feature this place? It is opposite Blanchette, our favourite French restaurant in London, opposite our favourite Spanish French restaurant in London. It's like, it's like this European battle of the country. <laughs> this is called Peter. We had to feature it. It's only run by the same guys that have Mercado Central in Cambridge. The best Spanish restaurant going. We should have featured these guys earlier on. I'm sorry. Sometimes these places are such a piece of the furniture, such a piece of the fabric of London, you forget they're in the beating heart of Spanish cuisine in London. But so Peter is. So yeah, we're having a fourth dinner. Came for churros, but we'll have way more than that. For God's sake. Here we have little tostadas with a truffled goat's cheese. And of course a bit of hum on. My one's gotta get his train, so. Back to Manchester. Back to Manchester. Very sorry, we've got to be carried away. But have your churros, you've been so yearning for these. This is the moment I've been waiting for, guys. All right, here we go. Churro. Oh, shit balls. Yeah, don't get it on your nice jacket. Heaven forbid that gets a stain on it. <laughs> Shalud, Marwan. Thank you very much, you Thank lovely you. bastard. Love you guys. Yeah, mate, we love you. Love you more. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a safe trip back to Manny. You smell really nice.